Earth the jerk. Yo. Where you from, brother? Richmond, California. My way off from California. The rich. Bay Area. Yes, sir. It ain't all smiles in the rich. Nah. <laughs> I'm a happy dude, but it ain't all smiles out there, man. Now, how'd you end up in Oakland from Richmond? Um, my mom lived in Oakland. My dad lived in Richmond. So, I was back and forth a lot and uh, spent a lot of time in Oakland. Going to school out there, spent a lot of time in Richmond. And, um, pretty much stayed in Richmond from that time on, so at least more than half my life was definitely in Richmond, California. You think having your father in your life influenced the way you turned out? Definitely. Definitely. He's a real, he's a real strong dude. Took care of all the bills, took care of everything he needed to do. Always kept the house. And, you know what I mean? He'd been in the same spot for about 25 years, so real stable dude, a lot of stability here, so it helped me be the person I am today. When you grow up in an environment that's a little ratchet, what keeps you from going to that path? What kept you centered? and What kept you, you know, I guess, motivated to do something else? Um, definitely, definitely religion, God, believing in God, and um, keeping those kind of things first. Just kind of understanding that, you know what I mean, everybody's not the same, so I, I didn't really get, I guess, fascinated by, like, the fast life or, or a fast money. It wasn't, like, a, a necessity for me. It was kind of more of a, like, survival thing, you know what I mean, so... I wasn't too caught up in, in extra bullshit back then. Why do you think so many rappers are scared of God? Or if not scared of him, scared to... You see, some of them mention him, even though they're rapping about stuff that don't have nothing to do with him. And others who are supposedly on the quote-unquote white side seem to uh, shy away from him. Do you think that that's... Do you think that God should be quote-unquote cool to people? Should it be a matter of whether it's cool or not to believe? I don't think it should be cool or not. I think like if you believe in God, then I think one of the first things I learned was speak his name regardless of what other people feel because they'll go back and hear what you said and, and take heed to it somewhere out throughout their life. You know what I mean? Like like just being, just believing in it and putting it in my raps and my rhymes or different things like that, even if it's small but if you listen to like at least half the album there's a God references in there, you'll find it, you know what I mean? And I think that's the least I could do being, you know, just a rapper, you know what I mean? What happens when, I guess, the representatives of God step away from that line? I guess right now, the, the, the whole Eddie Long situation is kind of blowing up and people are distancing themselves from God and from religion and those kind of things. What what effect should that have on people when the messenger runs afoul of the message? Um, I guess for the people, for me personally, I feel like nobody's perfect. Um, so if your faith is strong, then that's what you need to do. Just keep your faith strong no matter what the messenger does, no matter what anybody else does that says they represent God or whatever. We all make mistakes and we all go through that. But if, you, if you're focused on God, then that's pretty much all you should be worried about. Everybody else is just, just a regular human can't fault somebody for being human and then that's another one of the first things that I kind of learned like you know people are just people but God is always God so as long as you worry about that then you should be good no. and this music and this industry rather let's not say the music let's say the industry there's a lot of wild shit and fantasy stuff that goes on how do you avoid that because you have to be part of the scene in order to move forward but a lot of those things are either bogus or unhealthy let's say yeah, um, just trying to keep a good head on your shoulders. I mean, it's, it's definitely difficult. There's nothing but but wrongdoing, I guess, you know what I'm saying, out there and at the clubs and the parties, the studio, like everywhere you go. But it's, it's not, it's only glorified because it's the nightlife and because you live it. And people want it to be something that it's not. People will see you and, and the kids want you to drive a fancy car despite whether or not you can afford it or not. So it's kind of like, just kind of comes along the territory, like being a movie star, you know what I mean? They don't want to go to a movie and see a boring movie. They want to be entertained, and I kind of look at it in the same light. So it's definitely hard to stay away from it, but you know, I try to just stay balanced with with uh, life and family and things that are kind of important and keep those things close and everything else kind of you know fall by the wayside.